Hey, what's going on everyone? Senrab here and today I'm gonna be coming back at you with a different type of video that I don't normally make. See, it's weird, okay? I usually do not make scripted videos and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a scripted type style on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and see and we're gonna see how this does. Today guys, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be starting up a new series on the channel. Are you ready? I thought this name is 100% original, not inspired in any way. Smile review. Wow. All right. Now, what the heck is smile review? Well, 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 well. Listen, listen, listen. All right. The whole year of 2021. By the way, happy New Year's. I am going to try to complete anime and my MLA plan to watch MLA for my anime list. So I'm going to then give my thoughts and opinions on that said anime and we're going to see how far I get. So smell review, Senrab, my anime list. Original, right? I mean, like, come on, I 100% thought of it on my own. Like, I'm just cool like that. So at the time of me writing this script, I have about 115 animes in my plan to watch. So I'm going to be using a generator at the end of each video to pick my next anime to watch. And so that cycle is then going to repeat. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So now that I have the rules explained, uh, be sure, I'll be sure to leave that in the description going forward if this is a series. And uh, let's go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so what amazing anime are we going to be starting the year off with? Which, by the way, Happy New Year's. I'm excited for this year. Um, well, I'm assuming you already saw the title of the video. Um, we talking about Neko Pata! Let's go! Alright, so I want you to hear me out real quick, okay? I really enjoyed this show. And it's not for the reasons you think, okay? That's okay. It's not because of very cute cat girls in maid outfits. But I will talk about it, okay? I will talk about the very cute cat girls in maid outfits, but there are other things that I want to speak on first. And so I hope you guys know I, I'm doing this like it's script. I have I have my script out, but like I also I kind of like doing this like off the dome, and I like just talking about it. So I hope this is okay. I'm still new to this editing style. Anyway, enough rambling. So a degenerate like me, I've watched all 12 episodes of the anime and both the OVAs. Um, you know, it's weird. I actually don't watch that many, um, OVAs for a lot of anime, which I need to, I need to really start doing. Uh, like, when it comes to One Piece, I know there's a, a couple OVAs and even movies, um, that I should probably really watch the grow. There's two OVAs and 12 episodes in the anime. Uh, so what I'm going to be talking about first, um, is... OVA number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, spoiler warning. So if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna be spoiled by for Nekopata, um, by any chance, uh, be sure to just leave a timestamp and come back here uh, when you have been caught up. All right. So in OVA number one, it's the same length as a normal TV show. Um, so basically, we get to learn a little bit of the origins of Chocola and Vanilla, who are two cats that were abandoned uh, when they were very young, and they were taken in by the Minazuki family, uh, Shigeru and Kasho. Now, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong. Um, I will talk about the other cats in a little bit. Um, so we basically get to see uh, younger versions of the whole main cast, basically. Uh, as well as Chocula and Vanilla as before. Um, and we basically, in this first OVA, we first OVA we get to see Chocula and Vanilla um, just kind of become comfortable with the house. Like, they just learn to um, fit in into a new family, into a new environment, um, since they never really had one before. Um, and it is really wholesome, actually. It was really nice seeing, seeing them. So in the second OVA, uh, we see Kasho. He moves out for the first time. Um, from the Minazuki house. Um, so while he is moving the startup, uh, it's his, like his own bakery, kind of. Like he just he sells sweets and desserts and whatnot. Uh, I don't know really what to call it, but he basically starts up his own uh, restaurant and whatnot. And so while he's moving, all his um, items get shipped to him, and he 
uh, is unpacking and he hears a sneeze in one of his um, packages and so he jokes about saying like oh I think this is the wrong package they must have um, shipped it to the wrong person and then boom out come Chocola and Vanilla uh, there's, they joked about how Chocola and Vanilla were really heavy and they got really mad about it. Never joke about a woman's weight. Um, that's what I've been taught. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on that. So, throughout this hour-long OVA, it's kind of a, it's kind of a retelling of episode one in the anime a little bit, uh, when you think about it, but it takes a little bit before. I don't know how to describe it. Um, officially, it says it's like six months, but um, basically in this hour-long OVA, um, we see Chocola and Vanilla um, open up to their open up to Kasho and see him as his master. And to them, master means someone that they love. Um, and I'm assuming that's how it is in, when you're a cat girl in this world. Um, when you see someone as a master, it's not like superiority. It's just someone that you look up to and you love and you want the best for. Um, so they see Kasho as a master and they win the hearts over him. Uh, and eventually he allows them to stay. Um, but they're going to have to work with the sh work on the shop with him. Um, and he's not going to be able to take care of them most of the time. They're going to have to probably take care of themselves. So we get to learn that, uh, and then we learn a little bit of a system about the world where cat girls actually need to have uh, a bell. They need to like own like their own bell, or their um, the police actually have the authority to take them into custody and then find them their owner. Which is something interesting because later on in the OVA, there's a conflict where Kasho uh, gets really like sick. He um, probably get like f like a, an illness I don't know how to describe it he just got a cold basically and the two girls wanted the the best for the master so they rush out of the house go to a clinic but everything's locked down it's late at night the police show up and they ask where their bells are and the girls realize they rushed out of the house so they didn't even have their bells um, and then it's just Kasho shows up and clears the whole situation. Very wholesome. I actually really enjoyed the hour-long OVA. Um, it was the first time I watched something an hour long. <laughs> Anime-wise, at least. Actually, no, that's a lie. I watched episode one of ReZero. Anyway, I really enjoyed these uh, two OVAs. Um, I think it's really hard to describe, but I think it's really nice. Um getting some background on the characters you just get to know about their lives a little bit more and you just get the um just see that dynamic i guess is what i'm trying to say all right now time for the anime now for the anime it, it's a little bit tough to like talk about because when you boil it down it's essentially just a slice of life anime um which are amazing um yeah, it's basically a slice of life anime where we get to see the lives of the cats. Um, so all the cats are Chocola, Vanilla, Maple, Cinnamon, Coconut, and Azuki. I don't know why that's the one thing mis- like, I don't know why it's the one name. Anyway, um, so very early on they actually um, adopt a new f member into the family. Uh, her name's Coco. So basically the whole story with Coco um, is, so she was a stray cat, so in episode 1, Chocola and, and Vanilla finish up um, the shop, uh, they get tuna for dinner, and so Chocola runs out and gets some condiments for it, she, si she sees this stray cat, offers her a treat, but she's confused because she doesn't know why this cat uh, is all alone, the, she gets scared and hides, so Chocola leaves it for her she runs and gets the condiment and on the way back she sees that the cat actually tats some so she takes her candy back and rushes home so she can eat and that's when we learn that Coco actually followed her and then we have this whole thing where they tried keeping Coco a secret um, she's very her thing is that she doesn't talk a lot she's very shy and uh, she gets uh, she we, you lose her quickly like she is very sneaky um, and so basically it then comes out and we learn basically that 
you just can't instantly like adopt a stray cat but um what we learn is that um shiggity um basically has to search up online because apparently shiggity in this universe she is an all-knowing being for for cat for cat girls like she knows them hold up i gotta take a sip of water so shiggity's looking around on the internet calling she got her connections she's trying to make sure that this cat is not to an owner already um the cats um really take a liking to her and then eventually she's adopted into the family so i really i i really like cinnamon okay and here okay here's the thing right she is such a wholesome child okay like if we're okay if we're talking wholesomeness okay she's on the same level as airy from my hero academia and i will put my life on the line for both of them i mean it. i will i will i will risk my life for those for these two kids they I, they are like my daughters i mean that with a passion so i would say some highlights uh from the show uh would be of course you know coco being new to the family we get to see her um kind of repeat like what chocolate and vanilla did like she basically has to get comfortable with the family and learns uh to adapt and you know basically become a cat girl and it's it's really wholesome actually um and then we have other friendships like uh, mabel and cinnamon so the whole thing is uh cinnamon when she was younger uh was very shy and very timid she basically was in a corner a lot by herself but uh mabel scounded her um and was like come on you gotta push through you gotta you, you just gotta open up a little bit so um instantly mabel and cinnamon had a connection they had a bond uh and they became very best friends uh but we learned that uh cinnamon you see cinnamon she takes it a little bit too far um, so, the running gag is she's basically the pervert of the cats. Uh, she gets, I'm telling you, quote-unquote, she gets wet. Thinking about love, intimacy, uh, reproduction. Um, freaking, there was a whole episode where there was a, there was a freaking storm. And people, all the cats are calling her pervert. And she's like, I am not a pervert. I will defend my honor. Okay? It is demeaning when you call me that. And then she literally just 10 seconds later does something perverted. It's, ugh. I like cinnamon, but um, that's how it is. And she also has the biggest breast out of the freaking cat girls. So, there's that. I think it's really interesting, though, that she is a pervert. Because the only other pervert uh, female at least i know is darkness from konosuba uh i really enjoyed her character cinnamon she was all right she's more of a support role officially uh if you look up on the my anime list stuff she's actually more of a support character but she does her job really well i really enjoy her um so another another good story is um both coconut and azuki so basically their whole thing was we saw in the OVA that Azuki actually was teasing Maple a lot when uh, they were younger six months ago. But eventually during that six, six month time span, um, Coconut grew super tall to what she is in the anime. Uh, and Azuki started picking on her and basically those two cats are rivals. Uh, they just don't see eye to eye. Um, and eventually this came to a point where... God, in the future, okay, don't be drinking this clear American Fiji apple when you're trying to record, dude. It messes your internals up, man. It's 1.26 in the morning for me, and doing this is not good. So, basically, they have, um, they have, uh, how do I describe it? It was basically a fair match. Like, it was basically a tournament. Uh, like, for example, like, they put the egg in the spoon and put it in their teeth and they ran. Uh, they were also, like, you know, like, uh, trying to climb up a scratch wall without, like, resisting the urge of, like, just staying there and enjoying it. Um, stuff like that. And then we get to the, the final competition where, uh, it's Sumo 
but with a twist. So they have the podium. I just hit my mic. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's the it's the podium, right? Uh, then we got water around it, and the two girls on top. Okay. The twist is to knock the other girls down. They have to use their butt. I'm not even joking. Episode six, we got literally. Let me see. Three minutes of just fan service of girls sumo wrestling with their butts. Cat girls. I mean, you know what? You get what you can get, am I right? Alrighty, final thing I want to talk about is power scaling. Now, you're looking at me. You're like, Jaden, this is a slice of life. Why are you talking about power scaling? It doesn't have one. This isn't a shonen anime. And yes, you are right. You are very so very wrong as well. Okay? See, here's the thing. I don't even gotta talk about... I don't even gotta talk about it. I just need to show you it. Do you see Shigeru? She is on a whole another level of plane of existence in this world. Okay? So when Kogana was poking holes into the paper wall, look at this aura! She ain't playing, dog. Like, we haven't even seen her mad. This is only her freaking annoyed. What if she was enraged? Okay. She she is instantly clapping Goku. And I don't even care what any of you say. She is beating everyone. Every shonen anime right now. Don't even at me. Alrighty. Jokes aside. I keep hitting my mic. And I really enjoyed this show. Um, to be honest, uh, other than, you know, of course, it's Catgirls fan service. I think it's just um, playing to what people really like. I, I, this show is actually very wholesome. Um, as, as much as, like, me going in, I thought, you know, like, I was just going to have, like, multiple waifus. But no, I actually ended up, like, just caring for the family. Like, I kind of felt like it was my own family, you know what I mean? Like, I just, uh, it just, I don't know, it just felt nice being a part of the family, and it was really wholesome, and it, uh, made you fall in love with the characters, not, like, simping-wise, but more like, you know, like, uh, pa like, compassion. Like, more like, you know, you know, I can't really, I have a really hard time explaining it, but I think you get what I mean, like, it does, it does have waifus, but, like, it do, I don't, you the show makes it seem like it just, you, the show has its way of, like, not turning it that way. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, that's how it is. But, I mean, come on, waifus galore. I mean, god damn. Alrighty. At the clap of my hands, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut to me picking a live anime. Let's... Wow, look at this! Magic of editing, am I right? Okay, anyway, this is gonna be real quick and short, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, I'm on a website called spin.mo, it, it's linked with my anime list. Um, so let's go ahead and let's do it, plan the watch, I'll type my account if you want to add me, I guess. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. The suspense is uh, in here. Oh! Okay. All right. So next episode on the channel, we're gonna be talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> oh God! You know it's interesting. I wanted to review this. Uh, I've been wanting to review this show for a bit, or actually, I've been wanting to watch it. So. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, alright. Well, there you go. There you have it. Let's head back to, um, me a little bit ago. By the time I'm recording this. Alrighty, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, 
things are a little bit different. Uh, this is the brand, the first video of the series. Uh, we went from my little avatar at the beginning to now a webcam video. Um, I want you guys to just go ahead and give me feedback on this video. Let me know what I could have done better. Um, things I can improve or basically what you enjoyed. Be sure to like or dislike. Uh, either or helps me actually grow um, as a content creator. Uh, and like I said, I'll always hope to see you guys next time. Stay sexy. I wonder if I can get Isekai to this world.